my people breaking news make i give you a latest update so hey hey be small oh apc all apc senators they don't go labor party office so go visit peter b and the labor chairman and labor party members them they say i beg say me peter be labor party make them withdraw the petition where they get against ashiwaju ahmed tunubu for court say me they are beg support tunubu government and also make them support akpabio as the senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the 10th senator, not be small, oh. guys. I say, who know no Labour Party for Nigeria, eh? And you, they live for Nigeria, and you're a Nigerian. You need to go wash that your face, come on, that thing with your face. Honestly, I know just on this. I beg, say, not only Labour Party. Now I know they support APC, PDP, they there, they no go. I don't want to come tire me pass. They no even, they go meet the national chairman, the authentic, authentic chairman, will be Julius Abure. They no go meet uh, Papa Lamidio, the fighting fighty native doctor where they carry people for court. So. <laughs> um, me come they ask, I beg, she Peter will be making withdraw in a uh, petition because say Peter will be not qualified to be president of Nigeria. I'm waiting. Is Peter will be not qualified to be president of Nigeria? Guys, make a leave right because the video long small. So I'm gonna get time listen to it. I beg, just help me share this video. Drop your comment. What do you think? Either on the hot, they don't they get the message. This one I say Koro Koro. That is a something was wrong in that election. Guy, I come here waiting. Abure, the national chairman, answer them. Hey, hey, hey. I beg, don't forget to share this video. Give me thumbs up for this video. Follow my page. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll go see you for my next video. Mona, just listen to this meeting. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> is visit for appreciation and also to solicit your support in this on this moment. And why we primarily can thank you is because out of the 69 signatures that we have, we have members of your party. Even though not all, even if you have one, you should come and thank the father for giving you one of his sons. Maybe one of that son will bring all the others. Amen. Besides, we have more than one son. <laughs> and you have one daughter. No. One out. So if you have one daughter, one daughter, and, and, and two sons. And two sons. So we thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Let me thank you, Adiji, and commend the ingenuity of uh, my God Special Grace, the incoming President of Senate and the Deputy President of Senate and all our colleagues who thought it wise to come and pay you this uh, visit. For me, it's quite unique. And it shows that our democracy is developing and growing, and growing beyond party uh, uh, affiliations. First is to join him to thank you very much, because you have the capacity to say, no, we've not decided, but you've allowed them to freely choose. Uh, quite majority of them and uh, I believe strongly that a uh, democracy that is developing is developing to a point that we begin to put the nation first ahead of any other consideration. Mr. Chairman, in our pre-inauguration engagements, which is prelude to our inauguration, we've been engaging and interacting with the central elect, central elect for your party in the, the best harmonious fashion and good sense of brotherhood. Mr. Chairman, we see in them the zeal to form part partnership, to forge partnership with all of us, than efforts to hit the ground running after an negotiation. This is the reason why we have decided to come here to show our appreciation in the manner that your senators elect have been working with us, forming, engaging a partnership that we know is in tandem with our overall interest of bringing prosperity to this country. We said, look, from what we are saying, there's a need for us to come here to commend you for producing these excellent people. I said, just that. Despite the difference in our party, the fact that we don't 
we know the same point. But we have one common goal: bringing stability to this country. Where did they, they say they took the road across the road in the daytime for nothing? Something will be pursuing you. And as far as I'm concerned, with the differences in political parties between the APC and the Labour Party, somebody will wonder what is the problem you're doing here? What is this group doing here? The reality is that the Labour Party is composed of Nigerians and the APC is composed of Nigerians. And as far as we are concerned, all of us must think Nigeria. If we don't think Nigeria, then there's no future for, free, for, for our children. Where I come from, in my community, when a child is born, they say the child is born to the community, not to the parents. So that child is meant to serve that community. So today, the Labour Party has produced a few senators for the 10th Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And they are pro you produce them, not to serve the Labour Party, but to serve Nigeria. That is why I'm very proud that many of them already belong to the stability group to stabilize the polity, stabilize the 10th Senate, and at the same time serve Nigeria. So we came to tell the Father, thank you for producing this kind of good children. Am I right, Baba? And for those that are not yet joined us, please urge you to make sure that they join us students so that we can stabilize the nation, stabilize the polity, and move the nation forward. And I know uh, 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 sometimes they say what is moral right uh, may not be politically expedient. And what is politically expedient may not be morally right. I would have loved to use this platform to call on all the political parties that contested the 2023 elections to shed their thoughts and come together and line up behind Asura Nibola and Maitunibu, our president-elect, in order to give leadership to Nigeria in a very fragile situation like this, so that we can stabilize the power policy and also bring development to Nigeria. We have so many issues, we have problems in the country, we can only do so by being together. They said united, we stand and divided with four. So I want to urge the Labour Party, because I believe that you went into this election as a result of your love for Nigeria. So come together and join us so that we can build a very united and united nation. On this note, I thank you for your support for us in the 10th Senate that we'll match very soon. And I don't want to belabor the issue because I'm talking to Labour. <laughs> so, so I thank you so much for this opportunity for receiving us. Thank you and God bless you all. I want to specially congratulate you on your election and re-election. I see election because some are coming for the first time and some of you are re-elected. I congratulate you for this feat because I know that it is wasn't an easy journey. And for you to earn the confidence of your people to be elected and re-elected is worth congratulating you. I also want to appreciate you for coming to pay us this visit. It is actually uncommon for political parties in power or a political party in power to take note of others and pay a visit. It is an indication that our democracy is growing. It's an indication that the political atmosphere is gradually crystallizing into a situation where we put the country first before partisan interest. I um, want to say very clearly that in uh, most of our engagements with our senators, the three of them with you have not made pretenses that this is where they want to be. And in our usual way, we didn't actually want to be detecting, want to be detecting to them uh, where they should go. We initially thought of it, but as events of food, we felt that we should give the leverage at this point and watch the political events and then see how the issues will play out. And I want to commend the um, um, Right Honorable Darlington until his own as Senator. <laughs> my own Senator representing my state, Ned Daimaswe. If you take it, it's not here now, but she has also whispered to me where she wants to be. Easy one, others. So I appreciate all of you, and um, for us in Labour Party, we believe in the unity of the country. We believe that the country deserves better leadership. We also believe that we need a dynamic Senate and a dynamic House of Representatives. 
Because without having a vibrant National Assembly that can truly be a check on the executive, what you have is absolute power. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. And I want to say clearly, without sounding immodest, that probably that's why we had a lot of challenges with the past Senate. I'm hoping and believing that this Senate will be able to be a departure from the previous one so that we can truly represent the people and stand by the people. After all, what is democracy? Democracy is governed by the people, for the people and by the people. And that's why for us in Labour Party, we believe that every government policy in your legislative business, in your thinking as those who represent the people, the people must be the focal points. The people must be the reference points. That every government policy must be such that we affect and enhance the welfare of the people. And if we say this, it's not far fetch from the thinking of our founding fathers. If you look at the Constitution of Nigeria, the chapter 2, it's very clear that welfare and security of the people shall be the principal purpose of government. And then went for that to even admonish that the national economy should be managed in such a way as to give maximum benefits to the people. So that shows that the people should be the focal point. And therefore, my appeal here is that in our legislative business, we should put the people first. Uh, because we appreciate that our people are suffering. Uh, the economy is harsh to our people. I want to say clearly, that the vast majority of our people are suffering. And we expect that with the new leadership of the Senate and the House of Representatives that is to come, and we must critically look at the people. Having said all of this, um, we appreciate your coming. Um, uh, we'll continue to um, discuss with uh, our senators elect. We've given them the free hand to make their choices. But this is not to say, however, that um, when the time is getting closer, that we won't be able to point the direction. But I want to say clearly that you are the first to have taken the initiative to come and tell us what you want. Somebody who does not ask you for a marriage, you won't give your child to the person to be wedded. And so for now, you are the only one that have come to ask us a hand for for a marriage, and we appreciate your coming. <laughs> and when in-laws come to the house, you don't drive your in-laws away. <laughs> so we welcome you, we appreciate you for for coming. Um, I want to quickly put on record here, um, just for the records, that um, we are in court in respect of the presidential election. And you know we are challenging the processes leading to that election. In all our campaigns, we didn't make pretenses about it. We said it clearly that we believe in the process leading to the election rather than the outcome of the election. And therefore, for us in the Labour Party, you are aware that we are not comfortable with the processes leading to the election. And I want to say clearly that this is not the forum for us to engage on that. But because you have made such remark, it will be unfair for me uh, not to put the record straight. And that's why I want to say it here clearly that the 2023 presidential election is what we are challenging. We are currently in court in it, and we are interested in the processes leading to that election and not the outcome itself. I probably feel that I needed to put that on record uh, before it will be carried that Labour Party is supporting and say why do go. No, no, no. For us, it's a no-go area for us. So I probably feel I needed to put that record straight. So having said this, I want to appreciate you. I welcome you. I followed the track record of Senator Apabio, not in the Senate, but when he was governor of Aquaibo uh, uh, State. Uh, his records are on parallel. His achievements are there. And most of the people he touched his life are my friends. And so I have no doubt in his capacity to provide quality leadership. Thank you and God bless you.